Welcome back to Storytime with a Scientist. My name is Sammy Hadi and I'm Rachel Jason. And today we'll be reading If I Were a Park Ranger by Katherine Steer and illustrated by Patrick Corrigan. Imagine serving as a park ranger for our U.S. national parks. If I were a park national park ranger after going to college to study wildlife biology, conservation, or education, I'd work for the National Park Service. I'd wear a special uniform, a hat, and a badge. If I were a natural park ranger, I'd be part of what historian William Stinger called America's best idea. I'd proudly continue the legacy begun by people who had a vision of preserving our country's most beautiful, historic, and unique areas. Some people hang pictures of pretty scenery on their office walls, but if I were a national park ranger, I would spend my workday in a place that was beautiful all on its own. If I were a national park ranger, I might work in the mountains, in a cave, near a volcano, in the desert, or at the seashore. Maybe I'd work on a ship or at a battlefield near the homeland of an ancient people or at the famous national monument. If I were a national park ranger, I would protect the land, the plants, the buildings, and the wild animals of my park. I'd protect animals in many ways. I'd make sure people didn't get too close to the animals or disturb their homes. I'd make sure people didn't feed them or leave garbage that might make the animals sick. Protected spaces such as national parks and national seashores serve as living outdoor research laboratories. If I were a natural park ranger, I might work with scientists to study the area's animals, plants, water, or soil or I could help with the discovery of fossils or artifacts in my park. I'd help campers, hikers, sightseers, and other visitors to learn about and enjoy my park. Did you know that hundreds of millions of people visit National Park Service sites each year? I might greet guests at the visitor center or lead a ranger talk. I'd meet people from all over the country and the world who travel to see the treasures of the park. I'd be a great storyteller. I'd learn about the natural history, the human history, and the legends of my park so I could share those tales. I'd tell a few spooky campfire stories too. I'd know lots about the park's landmarks, plants, and wildlife. I'd even recognize the calls, tracks, and scat of most animals in my park so I could answer any question almost. I might take people on a tour, on foot, in a tram, or in a kayak. Or maybe I'd lead a tour on snowshoes, or by flashlight, or even by candlelight. Lots of different knowledge and interests could come in handy. I might dress up in old-fashioned clothes and portray someone from another time. If I were a national park ranger, I'd always be on the lookout for fires or threatening weather. If I spotted trouble, I'd use my two-way radio to report it to the emergency dispatcher. Then the other rangers and I would use our training and experience to keep everyone and everything as safe as possible. But sometimes things still go wrong. Then I might be part of a search and rescue team that saves someone who is lost or in danger. If I were a park ranger, I'd probably spend time outside, maybe lots of time outside, in all kinds of different weather. But park rangers work inside too. Some use computers to design exhibits, make maps, write articles, and keep tracks of endangered animal populations. Others update park websites with information and alerts about closed roads or other issues. If I were a national park ranger, I might leave my park to visit classrooms. I talk with students about the wonders of my workplace because our national parks belong to them too. If I were a national park ranger, my park would be cleaner and safer because of me. The animals living there would be stronger and healthier too. And maybe because of all I did, some visitors to my park would experience something 
astonishing. A moment that could happen nowhere else in the world, a moment they'd remember forever. Then, like me, they'd want to take care of these very special places too. So yeah, adding someday, I just might be a national park ranger. Thank you everybody for watching Storytime with the Scientists. Um, Rachel actually picked this book out because it was very interesting to her because she once was a park ranger. So Rachel, could you tell us a little bit more about your experience? Sure. I was a park ranger, not at a national park, but at a state park in Florida. And we used to do all sorts of things, including um, keeping the pathway safe and making sure that all the plants were the good kinds of plants and not the ones that were invasive and taking over. Um, and we would help out the campers and make sure that their experience was enjoyable. That's awesome. So thank you so much for reading this book with me. And for those of you at home, please stay tuned for more story time with the scientists.